everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. How you guys doing? It is Monday, September 23rd, 2019. And as promised, this is the video of the Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild show that I went to last weekend. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they had over 300 quilts that were sent in and were displayed. I tried to get every one of them, but oh, gosh. Y'all, I walked and I walked and I walked and I think I missed a row. And if yours is on there and you're looking to see if your quilt is in this video and I missed it, I apologize. Janet Miller, who was the chair of the show from the Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild, was so nice to take me around and show me their uh, their their honor quilts and, and sister city quilts and all of that. So it was really interesting. I hadn't even, I didn't know anything about it. I don't belong to the guild. So, uh, we had a few Power Tools with Thread sightings while we were there. A lady came up to me and said she watches me on YouTube, and then I got some selfies with some other folks, and so I had a really good time. Um, real quick, the haul that I got, not a lot. I did get another roll of batting. I needed this, and picked that up from Joe's Quilt Shop out of Richmond, which is uh, over there by Houston. It's, it's a little south of Houston. And... Um, also at Two Chicks Quilting, you know that's my favorite little shop down there, Ganada, in Ganada. Um, that's that far east. I picked up this is a panel quilt. It's called Home for Christmas, okay, and it's by Coach House Designs. And this is the panel itself. This is just darling, you guys. So I've got all the. I had them cut all the fabrics for me there. And uh, one other thing, have you guys seen these? These are new, uh, this thing puts out, this is for ironing and I've got uh, Mary Ellen's Best Press in here. This thing is amazing, I love it. I got one for here and I got one for the coast. See, two chicks, they have their own, isn't that darling? And. Um, so, but you can spray this thing and look at that really fine mist and you don't have to spray it real hard and it just goes. So you're not going to get any drips of uh, stuff in, on your fabric or anything. But if you haven't had a chance to try one of those, I recommend it. Okay, I'm going to quit yapping. I'm going to get to the video. It's about an hour long. Um, this is one of those when you're in your sewing room, you just want to put it on and let it run. Okay, so I tried to change the music up a bit. So anyway, trying to take care of you guys. All right, I will talk to you soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and you guys need to go sew something. Bye. All right, I'm here at the San Antonio Event Center. This is on the southwest corner of uh, Loop 410 in San Antonio over off Marbach Road. And um, it's only 1030 in the morning and parking is already at a premium. I had to uh, circle the lot once or twice and ended up out here in the back 40. That's fine. Does not deter me. Let's go inside. Hey everybody. Um, I am here right now with Janet Miller. And Janet Miller is the chair of the San Antonio Guild Show. Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild 2019 show. Wow. She just kind of let me in on a secret that if she, her husband said if she ever raises her hand again. <laughs> you guys know what that's like, don't you? <laughs> so Janet, um, I was here two years ago. Yes. That was my first time being here. Uh -huh. But how many, how many times has the, the, how old is the Guild show? Um, their first show was in two, uh, 1981. Oh, wow. This has been around a while. Uh -huh. Okay. And I actually researched it. They had 27 quilt or uh, pillows, 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 in the, in their show. Okay, in we, 1981. In 1981. Okay. Yeah. Things have changed. Okay, right. Um, so we are in the San Antonio Event Center, and I showed y'all the outside of it. This is a huge, huge. Um, it back in the day when it was first built, it was a furniture store. So you know how large those buildings are, and in here I can't see. 
I mean, it's just quilts and quilts and quilts. How many entries did you have? We had 338 entries. Wow. And then a special exhibit of uh, 21 quilts from the Long Arm, San Antonio Long Arm Group. Okay. Great, that's really nice. And and there's a lot of vendors here too. 47 vendors. That's a big show. That's a real big show, you guys. And we awarded um, $2,200 in prize money. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the kind of categories that you have? Um, you know, because you, you have a lot of beginner quilters. You have some very, very good artistic quilters. Yes. What, what kind of uh, categories did you have? Well, we have everything from, um, like you said, your first quilt. Now, the first quilt is the first quilt in a quilt show. Okay. Not your very first ever made quilt. Because some of those quilts in that first quilt category are pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. Okay. But it's the first quilt they've ever entered in a show. All right. And then we've got our biggest category was pieced large and pieced large. pieced large so it the whole quilt has been pieced the top has been pieced okay and um we've got a pieced small and a pieced large okay and then um scrappy quilts was another large category okay and um we've got art quilts we've got modern quilts we had a new category this year um wearables home and personal accessories this is great. So, you know, I, I remember when I, my mother was not a quilter. Uh -huh. I've only been a quilter since 2011. And I remember my mother saying, how many blankets does one person need? Yeah. You know, that's the kind of way it was. So, but now that you're talking about wearables and things, the, the, the amount of artistic reach has really expanded. Oh, definitely. And I don't know that any of these quilts, they're big enough to go on a bed. But the workmanship in them, right? You know, I have a cats at home, and I look at these quilts and I go, "Oh, I don't want my kitties on." You know, right. exactly. So, so a lot of them are made for beds, maybe the guest bedroom. Correct. Yeah, to look at. <laughs> yeah. And when your guests arrive, you fold it up Nothing. nice and throw something else on there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> um, or there are wall hangings. Um, but the wearable and personal and home accessories, um, purses. Yes. And we had we only only had two wearables, a jacket and a vest. Okay. But then purses, um, table runners, right. small totes, that type yeah, of thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. Now tell me about this quilt behind me. This is an older quilt. I see a nine patch and then an applique. Yes. Okay. It, it is titled Parts and Nine Patch. Okay. It's part of our uh, the quilt. The Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild has a, a permanent collection. Oh, okay. And um, this quilt is a part of the permanent collection. Um, guild members made it, and it was used in the um, late. 80s, early 90s uh, for schools, education type thing. Okay. And then they put it into the collection. It is hand applique, yes. so it's needle turned applique. I can see that, yes. And then hand quilted. My goodness, and these tiny little stitches are all hand quilted. Yes. Y'all, I'll have to get real close up. This is lovely. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, display of very good hand work. And um, you'll need to um, show them the two quilts up front. One is from um, our San Antonio sister city, Kumamoto, Japan. Okay. And um, it's their threads and um, fabric club in Kumamoto sent the guild in the uh, 1980s. It's blocks. Okay. Beautiful Would embroidery. Would you like to show me? Sure. Let's go look. Okay. Okay. Um, this quilt, the Winnipeg Sister City quilt, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, is our sister city in Canada, and uh, quilt makers in Winnipeg sent us the blocks, and we put it together, and we did a block exchange, so they have a quilt from San Antonio, but this is from our San Antonio sister city of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And then on the left is a, a quilt from Kumamoto, Japan. We have a larger one up front. They had some leftover blocks, so they made a wall hanging. And in the lower right corner are all the Japanese gals from the Thread and Fabric Club of Kumamoto that made the quilt for us, for the blocks. 
beautiful impanded embroidery in the blocks. And then um, after 9-11, um, they sent us um, close to 100 sympathy blocks. Aww. And we put those together and those were donated to the Winedale quilt collection. Okay. And those blocks were shown in Houston. And ex show me, what is this, this in is, memoriam? This is the Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild um, memory quilt. It's guild members who have passed away. And another guild member, a friend guild member, makes a block in memory of them. How nice. Kind of trying to tie in something that they did. Okay. Or they, you know, maybe a quilting technique they enjoyed or the colors they enjoyed. And we can continue adding to it. That's very nice. Very nice. This, the Storybooks program, um, the, the Guild will take a book that has a quilt in it or and um, a Guild member will make the quilt to go with the book and then the uh, libraries, the schools can sign out the book and the quilt Kids can touch the quilt, right. handle it. The teacher or someone will read the book to them. Okay, how nice. We reach about 5,000 students for a semester. My goodness, that's a lot. That's really a neat program. Very and nice. we deliver and pick up <laughs> so that the teacher just has to let us know and we bring them to the school and at the end of the semester we go pick them up. Okay. We ask that there's a, a book like this uh, with each one and we ask them to write down the number of children they read to. So it establishes that, you know, this is a... So um, if teachers were interested in doing this, how would they, do they go to your website or yes. how do they do that? Okay. We have a website and then they can just send an email and um, Linda Kirk who's in charge of this will get in touch with me. That's really nice. Thank you. What a neat program. Hi. Hi there. You're going to be on YouTube. Just cool. wave. Oh. <laughs> Love YouTube. <laughs> Done a lot of quilting with YouTube. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's all Jenny Doan's fault too yeah. for me. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Look at that. I'm like squirrel. Look at this. That's the moon quilt. I love that. How and pretty. And that came from this book. Okay. It shows what an imagination the quilter had to go from here, took the various motifs and the storyline in the book to make the quilt. That is really nice. I love it. And, and different, what is, is that? That's that netting. Netting uh -huh. on a quilt. Yeah, the, the quilters, when they get the book, their instructions are, it's going to be handled a lot and don't make it too big. Perfect. So it's got a lot of tactile got things for the tactile kids. tactile and the kids can go up and they can, you know, touch it and feel it. And Very nice. It, it really sparks a, a wonderful imagination. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. A whole quilt. Oh, this is the one that is on your, um, your card yes. and the website. Yes. yes. Very nice. I saw the pattern on Pinterest and contacted the quilt maker. She uh, had created the pattern and she gave me permission to um, do the, the pattern for the raffle quilt and I added the um, applique flowers. Very nice. Beautiful. And then a guild member, uh, Bonnie McClinky, did the quilting. It's actually quilted with navy blue. What? You have to if you're going to work on black. Oh, I see. <laughs> navy blue on black here. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that does not look like navy blue. And then it's orange. Orange in the blocks. In the blocks. Very nice. Lovely. Good, good back. quilting. And this is the other Kumamoto quilt. Komomoto? Kumamoto. Kumamoto. Yeah, Japan. The quilt makers made it for us. It's our sister city. Oh. 
Oh, the embroidery. The embroidery. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Yes. The embroidery. Yes. So nice. Yeah, very, very detailed. Have you been to Houston? Yes. To me, you can tell a Japanese quilt just right off the bat. Yes, much different than than American. Um, this is this is the San Antonio album quilt, and Guild made, members made it in the um, early '90s. Um, you know how we used as kids make snowflakes, divide the paper into yes. eighths and cut it out? Yes. Well, that's what they did. Okay, so y'all look at this. This is the Tower of the, the Americas, Americas, which is downtown. And, and just the skyline of San Antonio. Right, right. And an armadillo, cactus, blue bonnets, the missions. I love it. Howling coyote, cactus, live oak. Oil, oil, oil wells, and it went to um, boots. It's hand quilted and went to Paducah and was a judge's choice in Paducah. Very nice, and, and that's part of the guild permanent collection. Also. Oh, absolutely! Yes, it is just lovely. I absolutely adore this. Very nice. And they judged all of the quilts, and they awarded the ribbons. And um, you look at the, the quilting, you look at the pinwheels. If you look at the pinwheels, all the centers are perfect. Perfect. And the edges of the applique, the edges of the applique, they're, right. they're, they're look at this. all smooth. Um, the quilting. There's no puckers, the, the stops and starts, the right. consistent design. Yes. And you can tell it's not done by machine. This is done by someone with artistry. <laughs> yes. It's yes. just gorgeous. Very, very, every one of these pinwheels is perfect. I can't imagine the time it takes. So it's called Twirly Things. This is uh, Carolyn Biggs, one. She took a feathered star class from Sue Garman. There we go. And she's from Fredericksburg. Okay. There's some great quilters up there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have a, a lot of the quilt. Uh, one of our guild members is also the president of Kerrville. Okay. The quilt, Hill Country Quilt Guild. And so she got a lot of her members to enter. That's great. Yeah. yeah it makes for a much more interesting show so, to see yes. a lot of quilts. Yeah. Are there anything else that's noteworthy you'd like to... Well, um, the vintage linen um, exhibit that the long arm... Yes! That's at the back here. Um, this was our uh, rowing robin um, competition this last year. Um, guild members made their own houses and then they passed it there were four teams of five people so they did their house they passed it on the next teammate did flowers the next teammate and they were told what they were supposed to do for each row okay and then they uh something uh pinwheel nine patch four patch something like that then back to flowers trees birds butterflies the flowers in the first, you couldn't do flowers again, so okay. you couldn't repeat. And then uh, nine patch, four patch, and again the birds or something. Nice. And so we've got several of those that are entered down the row here. Enjoying the show? I love it. I did so much talent in this group. I know. Oh my god. So much talent. And someone instead of how she did bird houses. How nice. I think it's twelve. Look at that. I turn there. Jump, 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 jump. 
You're all right. You're all right, sweetheart. <laughs> You're okay. She's like, I can't get away from And I come right out. And she kind of took hers apart and put it back together again. Her houses are in the middle instead of at the beginning. But that was the fun part of the rowing robot. We called it a rowing robin instead of a round robin. Okay. We did a row by row. This is wonderful. Oh, wow. With a picket fence. Well, and the story behind her picket fence, she wanted to put the picket fence and on the side, it wasn't working out, it wasn't working out, it wasn't working out, her, her math and, and things. And she was in tears and her husband said, do a gate. Oh. <laughs> so... Y'all, I love that. That is so, that is perfect. You know, if it doesn't work, make it work. That is great. She embroidered the names of the gals who did her rows. Very and, nice. And she passed away before we finished. Oh, well, her quilt lives on. Yes. Very nice. And again, houses and rows. Houses. And we've got two more over here. Just lovely. But it was a, a fun time. You got to know your fellow teammates, mm -hmm. a, a chance to share. And um, the, the first time around, everybody, I'm at the program table and they're coming to me, who's so-and-so? I don't know who so-and-so is. And so I'd have to point them out. And That's a great way to get to know your yeah. guild members. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Love it. We'll go around the corner, the um, Benich Linens. Very modern, took third place. I like that a modern quilt took third place. Shows a little reach. Yes. Yes. Oh, look, you guys, as a vet, you know I love this. That is awesome. Look, there's our seals for all of my sister service sister services very nice embroidery Ooh, that is beautiful now do you have quilts that make the rounds from show to show to show or are these all San local to San Antonio area pretty much pretty much um oh there's a couple of folks that will send them on um, this is our challenge category, and I've got a sample of the challenge fabric of the little ways. And um, you need to make a quilt that has the challenge fabric visible in it. It can't be just little pieces. Okay. It must be visible, and it can only be um, a total of 200 inches. How inventive, though, to, to create dresses. And this is the challenge fabric. I love the embellishments on this quilt. And this is the challenge fabric. I see, yes. Oh, look at that piece. Challenge. Challenge. So they just took the challenge fabric and had to make something with it. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> it's awesome. That peacock is stunning. Just brilliant with the feathers. And these are all challenge also. <laughs> You're all right. Oh, I see it. Yes, I see the fabric. This is really neat. 
more challenge fabric quilts. I recognize yes, it now. Yes. 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 So how do they know about this? The the guild members decide to do it or they tell their Oh, look at Arneson River Theater. That's it. That's right. Um well the uh, chair picks out fabric. So last May, July, I um, got two bolts of this fabric from Memories by the Yard and we cut it into fat quarters. And then the guild members buy a fat quarter for five dollars. You can Ooh. buy as many fat quarters as you want, but it's five dollars for each. And then you design, you make the quilt. I love this. Only because I'm so attached to San Antonio, but I do love it. Just awesome. Just awesome. The quilting queen holding the quilting queen pattern. How cute. <laughs> this is wonderful. I love the embellishments in these quilts. And they usually tend to have a little more embellishments. There's a little more wiggle room. Sure. And um, again, still the challenge. And this is a, a sample of the challenge fabric. Very nice. Very nice. Um, every year the long arm group does a challenge. And in 2018, they challenged themselves to take something old and make it new again. So some of them, it was grandmother's card table tablecloth. Others, they purchased a, a doily, something from a, a like an antique, antique shop, shop or yeah. yeah. So some of them, they don't know who the maker was of, of the original antique linen. Very nice. They in, quilted, quilted the heck out of it. So pretty. I see the feathers and the pebbles. Very nice. Card table quilts, that's what they were, huh? Oh, very uh, nice. Car, card table, tablecloths that fit on top of the card table. And I, you, yes, you, nobody has those anymore, but I remember. Yeah. <laughs> and this one, she that take, that take a cut them apart. I'm still trying to learn to do it all. So this, the yeah, other side of it's down there, and here, there, and... Very nice. Cut, cut apart some... Uh, bread basket and then put some sprinkle uh, little jewels uh, yeah the Swartzky crystals just lovely can you guys I don't know if the camera is picking up how pretty this is with the uh, sparkles but there are sparkles there I'm too close without my glasses so I can't see what they can see <laughs> nice this is she got first place in her category and then she got first place in the quilting, and then she got overall quilting award. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. Did you see that, you guys? Look. So this was all quilted um, track quilting. What is track quilting? Um, the machine runs on a track. Right. But she's freehanding. Yes, and she's doing ruler work and freehanding. Is there, well, I don't know no, if this is ruler no, work or not. She's no, free, she's, she's freehanding free on a long arm. Yes. Okay. Well, well deserved. And then she got the overall quilting award. That is lovely. And the collages from Laura Heine are popular this year. Yes. Yes, these are very popular. This is just wave quilting. 
but it's the collage that makes it uh, so pretty. So the quilting does not take away from the, the collage itself. Very nice. Okay. Box of DJ has them. DJ has them bought the fabric already okay so this is a kit block of the month category that you have uh -huh. very nice that is just amazing very nice you know and I'm a kit quilter myself because I have no imagination I'm real good at if somebody designs it for me and that's I love to just um, sit and put it together and make it work I admire those people who can do oh was this part of the prints that was up in Lancaster? Because they did a whole purple quilt thing in Lancaster. I saw it from Jean True Love's channel. Oh, awesome. Look at that. It's called Purple Lost. Entered by Barbara Craig. A pixel quilt. Look at that. That is amazing. And this is a first quilt category. Oh, nice. It's called Alaska. Entered by Linda Casillas. So we're back in the first quilt. Oh, look. And these, this is an embroidered category. If you look close, they've laid the fabric down and then embroidered over the top yes, of it. Yes, yes. I do a the, lot of machine embroidery. Um, and look, To me, the colors just... Yes, this is just gorgeous. is um, the first place in the first quilt category for her, his retirement. Lieutenant, 1991, Lieutenant Commander Shively, 91 to 2018. Wow. And she got the postage stamp type fabric from every place she'd been stationed. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. I love this, and the clamshells are red, white, and blue. This is just amazing. And the, uh, commander's um, oak leaf in the middle. Yes. How neat. I wonder where she got those from. My husband's a stamp collector, finding these stamp like appliques with all his duty stations inspired me to honor his 27 year reservist career with this quilt. I managed to keep it secret for nine months when it was 75% done. Navy retirement quilt. That is just absolutely wonderful. What an honor. This is all needle fun. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my. And Wow. Well, I see why it won first place. That is gorgeous. Let me back up and get a full shot of it for everybody. And she said that she always wanted to make a, a quilt on black fabric. She got that out of her system. Yes, she did get that out of her system. <laughs> Love that. So, well, this is just awesome. Thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. Thank you.
I'd like to introduce myself. I watch you on YouTube. Do you? Yes, I do. Hi, I'm Becky. And I'm from Houston, Texas. Well, good. I, are you going to be at the show? No. Uh, oh, yeah. Good. I'm going to be in the Learn to Quilt booth okay. on Thursday. Well, good. So I'm with the I'm with uh, the Greater Houston Quilting Guild. And what's your name? Effie Stevens. Well, see, I grew up in San Antonio, and I went to Edison High School. Okay. And we're here for our 60 reunion. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's quite a bit. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> but what we do... We do it every year. After 55, we do it every year now. Right. <laughs> but uh, I, con I, love that. I, con I conned one of the, one of the girls. Uh, they asked what we wanted to do today. We got here Friday. What do you want to do today? And uh, I conned her and said I wanted to go to the quilt show. Yep. Well. My new best friend now. She's over. She's around. She's fast. Okay. So yeah. she's around. But yeah, this is my friend, Carolyn. Hi, she Carolyn. I'm Becky. I'm with Power Tools with Thread on YouTube. Oh. So I'm over here to uh, video the quilts. Thank you. 